Hello, everybody. Hello, colleague. Hello, academic. And hello, everybody now in the social network. My name is Eduardo Parra. I'm from La Laguna University. I am the president, well, I was uh, president of Spanish Association of Tourism Research. And now I'm working and collaborating with different, you know, uh, international journal of tourism like Tourism Review or Journal of Destination Marketing or Journal of Hospitality and Tourism Management. So when Dimitrios told me uh, about the possibility to collaborate, okay, I, tell, I told him the, that uh, Dimitrios, I'm going to talk about first uh, some screening about this, what is happening in Spain and later on about the, what is happening in the Canary Islands. So uh, the shock uh, in, in the Canaries and in Spain, uh, like in Italy, uh, has been really, really incredible for us. You know, the tourism of Spain and in the Canaries is uh, really, really important for our economy. And in terms of uh, financial and economic, the situation in the Canaries and in Spain is so complicated. Now, for example, in Spain and in the Canaries, we go into the first the phase zero. We are now, today is the phase one. So now today is the first day that we can move inside the island and we can move between our colleagues, a group of 10 people. So today is really, really day, really happy day to, to share with some colleagues and the family. So really happy here. So, after that, uh, before the, well, the beginning of March, all of the, our uh, principal resources of our economy, the bridges, was closed. was terrible for our economy and was an incredible situation. So, it's the first, uh, the first um, in the history of the tourism in Spain and the Canaries, uh, we had uh, tourism zero. So, incredible the situation in the island. So, was, everything was closed. Uh, and the rest of the of the world is the same, like in the Canaries and Spain. But now, uh, all of the people that were in the ecosystem of tourism that we are working to have a uh, new situation. When Alexandro was talking about the credibility, here is one of the uh, things that we are working in Spain. This is the first thing that we have: the Safe Tourism Certificate. Probably later, Immaculada will can talk about that in the hoteliers in, in Balearic in the Canaries. We are working in that way, safe tourism certificate in all of the hotels. If we look, uh, not the situation uh, of the what the GDP index uh, give the our economy in terms of the, all of the Spanish, is if you look the the, the slide that's very very important for our economy. Uh, this uh, uh, index uh, gives us information about the variables related to tourism demand and the foreign, in terms of arrival, or foreign tourism income from tourists and travel and balance payment. So what's very, really, really important for our economy in, 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 most, in most of the of the scene. In terms of, for example, in the Canaries, uh, the Canary Island was closed in uh, 2019 with uh, nearly uh, 50 million uh, of tourists, so the, uh, the data is incredible for the island. That's what uh, lowest data in the last four years, but uh, if you look at the data, this is really, really important. For the Ventura Island, also the, the higher loss in 2019. But if you look at the tourist spending, it's, it's really important in, in terms of the, our economy, in terms of the, the economy of the island. So uh, the situation is really really, really complicated because the connectivity for the island is, is, is very, very important. If, we, if all of the border that's closed and all of the airport in all of Europe that's closed, the situation in the island will be very, very complicated for the summer season. The employment of, in terms of data in the hospitality sector in the Canaries is really important in terms of uh, nearly uh, or number of employees for every 100 accommodation. So, if you look at uh, all of the situation of tourism in, the con in, the con in our economy, it's really, really important. Or the dependence of the tourism of the, in our economy it is so, so high. If we look also overnight stay in tourism accommodation, uh, at the end of uh, last year was a decrease, a small decrease. Or, for example, the affiliation of the Spanish National Insurance Scheme was, you know, decreased also. 
or for example, if we look the free interest rate in national insulin was in decrease also. Um, with all of the data, what is happening now? And now, what what I do? No, that's, that's the, the the question that we we have on the table. No, the economy of me or the internet of me. Dimitrios talk about uh, talk about that before, or the economy of we. So uh, I want to to share in terms of uh, what we can do. In the last month, uh, talking with many many uh, people in Latin America and different uh, webinars. And also sharing information with a lot of uh, colleagues in the Canaries and in Spain. I want to share with you different, you know, thinking. Uh, it is necessary. It is necessary to work in, in different mechanisms, plans, or operation of national regional coordination that help to mitigate and give support to public sector uh, and decision making. Uh, for example, the government of Spain they are not thinking about that. Uh, they they not consider in the tourism uh, what uh, in the in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the economy so that's is not, i don't know if they are thinking what is happening with the tourism in, in our economy it's very important to activate and prioritize tourism research uh, some of my colleague previous talk about that it's very important to to share uh, a knowledge to share innovation to share, uh, Maria talked about that. Maria say that it's very important to have a network of tourism research, researchers working together, uh, uh, sharing information, sharing different methodologies, sharing uh, different things that we are doing in different points. Uh, third thing, this is very important to provide incentive and accelerating recovery. Uh, I know that uh, Europe is working in that, uh, Spain, the government of Spain is working in that, and the government of the island that is working in that. But this, we must do, to work uh, more quick, uh, quicker than now. So uh, the emerging is, is totally, is, is, is very, really heavy, so we need to, to work uh, more quick than now. Tourism must be placed in the center of the national recovery policies and action plan of all of Europe. I don't know why uh, I have uh, read some information on that's not very important, so I don't know why. And the tourist industry, for example, in Spain, is one of the uh, economy, one well, of the sector economy that can accelerate job creation and income regeneration. It's very important also that uh, prepare ourselves for a change in tourist ascent focus on the capacity of tourism as an engine for local, regional, or national growth, and then work on the federation of capacity. That's the idea that we can do, in my opinion, not to, to have a federation of uh, capacity of all of us and some of intelligence between all of the people that we are working in the ecosystem of tourism in Europe. It's very important also to focus on the contribu uh, contribution of the tourism industry to all of sustainable development and build resilience by learning from the current crisis, support by experience and collective intuition. Also, it's very important a call for private sector agents to develop training plans. Probably the training and the um, uh, in Spain, that's not really, really important. One of the things that, uh, and translate to the different policy makers, please, think about that, that's very important for Spain and the Canaries to have an, a training plan to develop, what's, uh, to develop different skills to help people and to help the making decision that's in Spain and also in the Canaries. Uh, for example, to have the opportunity to transition to the circular and regenerative economy, and knowledge and economy, or for example, digital transformation. It's very important to have a fundamental, uh, a community vision of the different initiatives that are promoted. And we don't know work with the social base in a broad sense in the, in the local context. Most of us, uh, we are talking about the local context, but we can work, work in that way, I think so, that's my opinion. And we are going to have a very difficult time, but uh, 
to get uh, the to get out of the crisis and to face on the following ones from the global to local or for example uh, global localization also that is really really important to have the institutional uh, vision because the institutional all of the policy that's will not be able to reach everything and only an integrate and coordinate community of responsive will be able to cope in more vulnerable place it's very important to look at the others it's essential for the tourism in the island it's essential for the tourism in latin america it's essential for the tourism in europe uh, some of the questions that i could uh, i could uh, you know look in the chat say what is happening in latin america latin america that's they have many many problems now and probably they need more help from Europe and we must to work together. That's the idea that to look to the others. Risk sharing, uh, in my opinion, that uh, we must to help uh, all of the scene because uh, if we don't risk sharing and if we, if we want to, to think that's only in, in, in different economy or the before the economy, the, the people that are not thinking that what is happening now. So that's why will the economy slow down necessary to fight the pandemic, risk sharing. This impact of the crisis will generate much more demanding of customers. So uh, for the gastronomy sector, that's very important in Spain, uh, most of the people that work in sensitivity and food security. And I think that, um, Carlos talked about that, and in Spain, the, the gastronomy sector is really, really very important. Uh, transparency will be key, communicating the measure, adopting and facilitate the measures that are being carried out to the tourists. Now the tourist destination, all of the tourist destinations of Europe, that they influence. They are the principal actor of the ecosystem now. If the tourist destination they don't have, that's not a strategy plan or, or, or plan of tourism. That is reanimation plan. We must do, we have a flat line, so we have to put more energy to put more uh, strategic think inside this reanimation plan. People, uh, it's very important the people, the people in the middle, the people, uh, us work on being ourselves, uh, self and knowledge, get out the hopelessness, resignation or passivity. Change is the natural and the just joining, it will help it grow. Uh, remind the Darwin, uh, the origin of the species. Or for example, our will, our ability to overcome this state of stress. Hard times are, are coming where effort and perseverance will be the key. That is the paradox of choice. Finally, to close, learn and acknowledge Binobian and continue beating off innovation methodology, customer journey map, user experience, design thinking, artificial intelligence, disruptive innovation methodologies. So don't wait for the coronavirus crisis to dictate your decision. Make sure your activity plan enroll your people and execute fast. And some question I would like to share with my colleague. I would like to share this question with uh, the people that listen us. So probably we are entering a new tourist area. But that, what will magnitude of the chain be like? Is the horizon or no tourism? We'll choose the short distance or the long. How to plan the cost and context for, sorry, and, uh, of uncertainty? Will there be a bit change? Um, will we know how to live up to the society? Sorry uh, for my English. <laughs> but uh, I want to share with you my, uh, one of the uh, marketing campaign that uh, I love it, of the Mallorca hoteliers, Immaculada, the sun will shine again. Thank you, Dimitrios. Gracias, Eduardo. Gracias. I, I, th I think you, you, you actually complement Alex to a lot of the strategic uh, decision making and a lot of key issues that they need to bring us to the next stage. And I think um, uh, a lot of people will need to actually think what is the new reality, where we're going next and how we can prepare for that.